welcome to Audible's tier ranking of scary books for scaredy cats. My name is Holly and I'll be taking you through some of our scary and not so scary listens to get you in the Halloween spirit. Disclaimer, I am a massive scaredy cat. I've been spooked by episodes of Scooby-Doo. I'll jump at literally anything. And do you remember the demon headmaster on kids TV? I hope for your sake that you don't. If any of those sound familiar, then you're a scaredy cat like me. And this is the horror book tier ranking video for you. Let's introduce our tiers. Tier one, a walk in the park at night. This is your basic entry level spook fest and contains titles suitable for the very faint hearted. Perfect if you're looking for a walk in the park with just a slightly creepy edge. Tier two, after your walk in the park, when you find yourself all alone in your dark kitchen. But these books, you might keep the lights on. These titles step it up a notch, but should still be safe for a slightly braver scary cat. Tier three brings us to sleep. It was nice knowing you. This is getting serious. If you want sweet dreams this winter, I highly recommend not starting with these titles. Lastly, titles in tier four could leave you scarred for life. These are the stories that may never leave you and could render a scaredy cat as a blubbering mess incapable of day-to-day -day activities. So maybe steer clear of these ones for now. <laughs> All right then, let's begin. Our first title is Coraline by Neil Gaiman. Now you might've seen the PG rated film adaptation of this novel, but be warned, the book is known for being a lot more creepy than the film. Having said that, this twisted magical tale can be enjoyed by all. This one goes into A Walk in the Park at Night. Number two is a solid classic, The Haunting of Hill House by Shirley Jackson. This is the haunted house story, known to be the first of its kind. It might not be violent or gory, but with some psychological creepiness going on, it's going in, might keep the lights on. Next up, you may recognize this title from the Netflix adaptation starring Sandra Bullock, but the original book Bird Box hits extra levels. You'll find yourself in a claustrophobic world where the sight of lurking monsters causes people to kill themselves. It goes into sleep. It was nice knowing you. Right, The Patient by Jasper Jewett takes us into the mind of a man committed to a mental asylum and an overconfident psychiatrist who believes he can cure his patient. Fast paced, truly shocking. It's not one for the faint hearted. Welcome to Scarred for Life. You can't speak about horror without honoring the king. If you've been too scared to see the film, maybe don't read the book. The Shining by Stephen King is an all time horror classic that may just leave you scarred for life. If you'd like a slice of King, but also value your sleep, I'd recommend The Body. A local boy goes missing and is presumed dead. So a group of young friends decide to find him. This tale offers some pretty graphic vomiting, but nothing a scaredy cat can't handle, right? This title comes from Audible's top rated section in dark fantasy. Babel is set in a fictional version of Oxford. It tells a grim tale of empire, colonialism and magic with a backdrop of twisted academia. Get whisked away, not scared away with this one. A walk in the park at night. Dark Matter is a first step into adult fiction for Michelle Paver, who's known for her children's series, The Chronicles of Ancient Darkness and it does not disappoint. How does an Arctic 1930s ghost story sound? Chilling? Absolutely. We're gonna put it in sleep. It was nice knowing you. Another classic, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. If ghosts give you the heebie-jeebies, approach this with caution. It has got all the right ingredients to leave you awake at night. It's going into sleep. It was nice knowing you. Now for more ghosts and fewer sleepless nights. This book is in Audible's top rated in ghost stories. We're talking the 1800s, Scottish islands, creepy kids, long dark corridors. The Whistling by Rebecca Netley is a perfect tale for long autumn evenings, but 
you might keep the lights on. Here we have a true crime classic creeping in from the non-fiction aisle. It's an in-depth examination of five murders that happened in 1950s Kansas. Truman Capote's In Cold Blood is as chilling as it is fascinating. We're keeping the lights on. Here we have a book filled to the brim with disturbing topics and themes. <laughs> the Book of Accidents by Chuck Wendig is a dark family tragedy exploring abuse and generational trauma set against a backdrop of creepy tunnels and magic. Highly reviewed, but highly disturbing. I mean, creepy tunnels. Ugh. This one definitely gets sleep. It was nice knowing you. How about something gory? with, you know, some comedy elements thrown in. My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix is horror and laughs in a campy 1980s story of friendship and devils. Yes, please. I'll enjoy with the lights on. On to another classic. The Psychological Thrill of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson. If you're wanting to start with something traditional, this is definitely a good choice. A walk in the park at night. Now, depending on your feelings towards clowns, you might want to give this one a miss. If, however, the mere thought of them doesn't turn your blood cold, this could be your slasher clown hot fuzz vibes fix, if that's the fix you're looking for. Clown in a cornfield goes into, might keep the lights on. Uh, the Troop by Nick Cutter. Okay, so I haven't read this, I'll be honest, but it's got some super high reviews and sounds really compelling. Lord of the Flies meets something really terrible. Um, but pretty much everyone mentions the super graphic animal deaths. I'm talking cats, whales, and most of all, apparently, the turtle. This book is not for the faint hearted and definitely not for scaredy cats. Scarf for life. Back to another classic, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. This is the perfect book to match your Halloween costume. And if you'd like another feather in your cap of literary history, it's a must. A walk in the park for sure. Okay, next, The Stranger Beside Me. This is one for all the true crime fans. It's the inside story of serial killer Ted Bundy, as told by one of his long-term closest friends, Anne Rule. It's compelling, it's serious, and it's a true story. Get ready to question yourself and maybe some of your friends. <laughs> Let's put this into Might Keep the Lights On. Our next title is a big hitter. Enter The Exorcist. This book is an absolute classic and appears in almost every top rated horror novel list, but be warned. If possession and demonic children scare you, prepare to be scarred for life. This is not the place to start. Some good old fashioned monsters. The Shuddering offers a perfect recipe. Some friends, a log cabin, creepy winter forest, rising tensions, and oh, monsters are hunting the characters one by one. Hello, sleepless nights. Next is Psycho by Robert Block. If you haven't seen the film by Alfred Hitchcock, then I absolutely recommend this classic as the twists and turns are even more gripping and jaw dropping in the book. Might want to keep the lights on for this one. The Only Good Indians by Stephen Graham Jones. This follows four Native American men who find themselves being stalked by something that wants revenge. It's filled with social commentary, nature, winter, a bit of slashing, and a lot of basketball. Yeah basketball. <laughs> and although basketball doesn't sound scary, I'm telling you, it's going in sleep. It was nice knowing you. If you've seen the film starring Will Smith, don't think you are done with I Am Legend, as the book has a lot more to offer. But yes, there are post-apocalyptic vampires. Rule of thumb, if it got made into a film, the book is probably pretty decent, and that definitely works here. Walk in the park. Okay, more freaky cabins in the woods. Stolen Tongues by Felix Blackwell. Truly scary. This has monsters, possession, some more wintry forests in an isolated setting. And the unsuspected couple involved start to unravel. I think I would too. Scarred for life. Our last title comes from the much celebrated author, Hilary Mantel. Beyond Black tells the story of medium Alison Hart who is plagued by spirits from her past. Dark and funny, 
It's the perfect autumn story. Walk in the park and enjoy. So, lots of titles for the faint-hearted and a few to perhaps stay clear of, at least for now. I hope you find something suitably spooky to listen to. If you dare. <laughs> <laughs>